Ladies and gentlemen, in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. A few days ago, Davis Churchill, who is the chief of staff at the office of the president, personally went to the immigration department and picked personally Meguna Meguna's passport and ensured that the passport was delivered to Meguna Meguna in Canada. And Meguna Meguna was really excited. And after that delivery, Meguna Meguna made this post announcing his homecoming. Homecoming it itinerary. After nearly five years of forced barbaric exile, I'm returning home. Departing from Toronto, 24th October 2022, arrival at JKIA, October 25th, 2022, at 8.20 p.m. I think he has made a change that will now be arriving 6 a.m. And he has appealed to his supporters to turn up in large numbers. In this video, I want us to look at the implication of Miguna Miguna's return to the country on Raila Odinga's political future. Will Miguna Miguna disrupt the political equation for Raila Amolo Odinga? Because just the other day, I'm just trying to get, uh, there's a post which Kidero made after Miguna Miguna announced his return. And uh, Kidero was like, he's hoping that Miguna Miguna will be able, they will be able to join hands. But before we get into all those details, in case you're watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button. So that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now let us get back to the main issue. Miguna Miguna was forcefully exiled out of the country. And of course, it was because of the fact that he saw in Raila Odinga as the people's president. And it was a sad day for most of Kenyans who really value human rights. For me personally, I've not been happy with Raila Odinga by the fact that despite having the handshake with the Uhuru Kenyatta, he never really for five years tried to persuade Uhuru Kenyatta to allow Miguna Miguna back. So when William Ruto announced that uh, he was going to ensure Miguna Miguna returns into the country, I thought he was just playing politics. But from all his actions, he's returning Miguna Miguna into the country. And because William Ruto is someone I really understand his brand of politics, there is a reason why he's bringing back Miguna Miguna into the country. Because you must expect Miguna Miguna to fall out with William Ruto immediately. But the fact that Miguna Miguna will be making noise from the country is the most important thing. Let me go back into the history. Miguna Miguna and Relo Dinga, they always had a history. And I don't know what defines that history. Because in 2007, Miguna Miguna was the legal advisor to Raila Mulodinga. They fell out. He went outside the country. And Miguna Miguna started writing very many things about Raila Odinga. In fact, I think Miguna Miguna published three books. If there is an individual Miguna Miguna has not said anything about, I mean, there is nothing he has not said anything about, it's Raila Odinga. Because he used to do it, got tired, published a book. That book did not, you know, Raila was not bothered. Again, another book, another book. After the last election, Miguna Miguna actually voted for Uhuru and Ruto. In fact, I don't think Miguna Miguna 
has voted for Raila Odinga even in 2007. So he voted for, uh, for Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. But they fell out just after the elections. You remember after that election, Raila Odinga petitioned, then there was the People's Assembly where people were calling for secession and Miguna Miguna found himself taking charge. And he ended up swearing in Raila Odinga. And he was forcefully, after, just after the handshake, Miguna Miguna was forcefully deported outside the country. I'm not burning. 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 I don't have a passport. I don't. I'm not burning. I'm not going. Where are my luggage? Where is my passport? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. What? The captain cannot fly. 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 You have to kill me. The captain cannot fly. You cannot fly with me by force. I don't have a passport. You can't do that. My friend, I'm not going. You cannot take me from my country by force. Yes, so I'm not going. I'm not going. This attack. I'm not going. I'm not going. I don't have status in the Arab Emirates. I'm not going. This is my country of residence. This is my country of birth. You can't chase me away from my own country. I'm not going. I'm not going. I don't, I'm not afraid of you. And I remember that particular day he was being deported. Jubilee supporters led by Kipchumba Murkomen and the rest were actually very happy that Miguna Miguna had been sent out of the country. When an individual right or an individual right is a threat to rights of 45 million people, you cannot subject one individual right yes. to, to threaten the lives of... And I remember... Miguna Miguna was actually again forced into a flight after being sedated. As we speak, Dr. Miguna Miguna's life is in danger. Maybe they are looking now for a, pl for a special flight, and I hope they do not inject Dr. Miguna Miguna with a chemical and fly him out of the country, but to where? I don't have any documents, they have not shown me anything, and I need the entire world to know. Thank you. Andre, they, they broke through my door. A hundred of them helped me to the ground choked me, dragged me, injected me on both my feet, injected me on my ribs, injected me on my hands. I just woke up here in Dubai. They don't give me anything. And there is a G here, here, a Kikuyu man, very rude, insisting that he's going to brutalize me further. I need the international community I need everyone on this case Inter in contact the international media and tell them I'm going nowhere. I'm going back to Kenya because I, I'm in Dubai. I'm in Dubai. Yes. I'm not going to. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to agree to board anything because this is against my will. I've been dragged. I woke up right at the airport. I've demanded my documents. I don't have them. I am sick. I can't even walk. I can't see. They took my glasses. They took everything away from me. But will Miguna Miguna finally succeed in liberating? But will Miguna Miguna finally succeed 
in kicking out Raila Odinga out of Lunyanza politics. Because for those who might not know, the three books which Miguna Miguna published those years were actually sponsored by William Samuel Araputo during that time. Now, this is what Kidero wrote about to Miguna Miguna after hearing of the date. He said, Welcome back home, my brother Dr. Miguna Miguna. I am ready, the Lu Nation is ready, and Kenya is ready for the renewed lifelong journey and efforts of taking our people to what has remained to be an elusive Kanan. Janyanda Karibu Dala. That's, that's uh, Kidero. And then Miguna Miguna fired back that to my brother Kidero Evans, you are late, but I take this opportunity to welcome you to the struggle for liberation. You joined after we have wrestled Konman Reludinga to the ground. Before we induct you into the struggle, there are some issues we must resolve. See you soon. So which means the coming of Miguna Miguna, in my view, is supposed to achieve certain political objective. But what implication will it have on Raila Odinga's politics, especially in Luanyanza, because I don't think Miguna Miguna will have any political impact beyond Twitter or beyond Facebook. But what implications? Number one is the Luo succession politics. You know, the fact that Raila Odinga failed to clinch the presidency is giving room to all Tom, Dick, and Harry the opportunity to try and wrestle the leadership of the Luo community or Kenya from Raila Amolo Odinga. The fact of the matter is that those who have tried to forcefully succeed Raila Odinga, all of them have failed. I'm looking at the current Evans Kidero. I'm looking at uh, at Kidero. I'm looking at uh, Miguna. And I'm wondering whether they're going to succeed. Of course, at some point, Raila Odinga will have to give way. And the Luo people I know will always punish people they view as betrayers. The fact that Miguna Miguna has always betrayed Raila Odinga. I don't think we'll be able, the community will be able, the Lu community will be able to forgive him. That's the first hurdle he will have to face. Kidero Kidero, I mean, Evans Kidero is also trying to join forces to succeed Raila Molo Odinga. His path of fighting Raila Odinga, I don't think he will succeed. Because there's a way the Lu nation loves Raila Odinga. Every time you thought that Raila Odinga is now down, that's when they come to his aid. They always make noise. I look at Homa Bay, for example, where Kidero comes from. And in the last election, I thought that maybe this time around, these guys are going to disappoint. I thought that my friend Agostino Neto was going to defeat the current member of parliament who was given direct ticket. But still, those people ended up voting for, for the guy. You know, you look at the way the voting pattern. So the dual succession politics is going to be shaped. But will that be determined by the return of Miguna Miguna? I don't think so. But let us wait and see. Number two, I also tend to think that the return of Miguna Miguna will now project William Ruto as a reformist. Because William Ruto has always lacked the reform credentials. That's the only thing he has been lacking. He comes from a poor background. William Ruto has, has done this. He has the experience in politics. But he has always lacked the reform credentials. Raila Odinga, who is a reformist, could not convince Uru Kenyatta, who is a prince, to return Miguna Miguna into the country. You know, if really the handshake was so dear to Raila and Uhuru, one of the demands would have insisted is that let Miguna Miguna be part of the package. Why? Because Miguna Miguna is the one who swore Raila Odinga in. William Ruto, whose key supporters were actually the ones who really supported the deportation of Miguna Miguna. Kipchumba Murkomen, uh, Moses Kuri, I think, was even on a flight just to ensure that Miguna Miguna is safely delivered <laughs> in, uh, in Dubai. You know, it's funny. 
But Ruto is now the one who is bringing him back. So Ruto is going to appear as a reformist. And they are going to use that to project Ruto as a reformist. Remember, Ruto, being a shrewd politician, captured the church, the civil society through the VDD. Now by bringing Mugura Migoni, he's going to appeal again to the to the reformist. So at the end of the day, Ruto will emerge as a reformist. You know, as someone who people never expected would fight for reforms of people would actually end up being viewed as a reformist. And number three, I also tend to think that the return of Meguna Meguna is actually intended to aid attacks on Raila Amolodinga. And those attacks are going to be state-sponsored. And Meguna Meguna has always been sponsored before. So, he's coming. He will be given airtime on TVs just to attack Raila Odinga left, right, and center. And those attacks will be sponsored. And lastly, I think Miguna Miguna will also be used by Ruto to rally the anti Raila Odinga forces together. You know, there, there, there are places where you can't really oppose Raila Odinga by supporting Ruto. It can't work. So what they'll do is that they'll use people like Miguna Miguna to rally all those anti Raila Odinga forces. Like if you come to Nyanza, if you come to Nyanza, you get uh, Kidero, you get uh, people like uh, David Ocheng, you get people like um, Wajonya, Nicholas Gumbo, you go other places, then all those anti Raila Odinga forces who cannot succeed by supporting Ruto will be brought together. And then William Ruto will now work with them. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Again, for those watching the channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Without that support, the channel cannot be where it is. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.